da, 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 da. Good work, everyone. Both towns have been safely evacuated. Yeah, I think no matter which battle you choose, this cutscene's the same. So. The occupier should be realizing their mistake right now. Right about now. We didn't leave anything behind, after all. But haven't we just dug our own graves? It won't be long before Godwin and Armis bear down on this castle. He's right. We seem to be in a desperate situation. What's your plan of action, Lucretia? Hmm... I suppose we should take all the castle's goods and provisions and leave. What? Leave? Lucretia, you've got to be joking. A joke, eh? I truly don't get the human sense of humor. No, this is no joke. Does my plan really sound that crazy? Think about it. What is our goal? Protecting this castle? Hmm. Losing this castle doesn't mean we've been defeated. As long as the prince and the rest of us live and have the will to fight, we can continue the battle elsewhere. That is a point. That's true, and the enemy's naval capacity is limited to Luger's fleet. We hold the advantage on the rivers. We still have a chance if we can get back to Raft Fleet. The enemy is probably convinced that they'll win once this castle falls. They're in for a big surprise. I'd love to see the looks on their faces when they realize what we've done to them. What do you think, your highness? So here you you have to make a very important choice. If you choose to defend the castle, a certain character will die and it will be impossible to get 108 stars of destiny, so you probably don't want to do that. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, let's go with your plan. Then we must prepare to flee under cover of night. We'll be back sooner or later, but let's still take all the food and supplies that we can. Pay particular attention to documents, leather goods, and grain stores. Take all of them with us. Okay. Good work, Zahak. You have shown my faith in you was not without reason. Thank you, your commandership. But shouldn't we keep our eye on the Armis Southern Mountain Corps? Probably should. We need not worry about them. Commander Sparna will do her job if we just leave her be. I don't know about that. With all due respect, your commandership, she cares only for herself. True, but those like Commander Sparna are also the most reliable. It's those like Shulavalia who are the problem. That is a good point as well. The Western Marine Corps still hasn't gone into action. Perhaps he was just too much for Elenia to handle. I don't know about that. It may not matter. I have faith the war can be won with our forces and the Southern Mountain Corps alone. Is that so? I hope your faith is not misplaced. I do like Zahak even though he can be a bit of a prick at times. And they've really been driven into a corner. Uh, oh, poor brother. Sounds like he's in a real crisis, doesn't it? Don't act like you had nothing to do with this! It's all your fault! Uh, oh, if I could have been with him, this war would have been over by now. Hmm. I swear to you, if anything happens to him, you'll pay for it! Huh. 
You really think the rune is enough to defeat your brother, do you? What do you mean? I don't think it is myself. In fact, I bet it isn't. If I'm wrong, then everything I'm doing right now is meaningless. The question is just what is she doing? Maybe we'll find out eventually. So it looks like they've occupied Ceres Castle. Hmm. This place is completely empty. Oh, he may have to start killing his, his troops again. I want the castle turned upside down, just in case. There still might be spies lurking. Oh, but if you find anyone, don't kill them just yet. We won't let them off easily. Bring them directly to me. What, is he going to torture them? Oh, boy. I want their deaths to be slow. Slow and painful. Yeah. Torture. Yes, sir. Search for any food you can find. And don't go stealing anything for yourself. Hands off. Yeah, I'm sure Jiden wants all the food for himself. Yes, General Guisu. The Mountain Core soldiers kind of look similar to our soldiers a little bit. A little differently colored, but pretty similar. Yeah! <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking what a hard time I've put your armor soldiers through. We've annihilated the rebel army thanks to you. You have my sincerest gratitude, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you being a bit hasty? Gazelle requested our help in crushing the rebel army, but we haven't done that. They escaped. Our work isn't done yet. We appreciate the gratitude, but we can't go home just yet. Well, well, glad to hear you'll be sticking around a while. <laughs> Believe me, I'll stay until the final bloodbath. Oh boy. So these are Sindar ruins, eh? Looks like he's Canadian. Nice castle. I like it. Well, don't get used to it. Why don't we make it our new base? Sounds good to me. But Lord Godwin's survey team will be arriving shortly. I hope you don't mind, but certain formalities must be taken care of. They can do whatever they want. I mean, we're just leeching off you guys, right? I'm only joking, of course. <laughs> I don't think you want to joke around with Kilderic. I mean, maybe that's just me, but it's probably not a good idea. So, so what now? The rebel army has surely fled to Rathfleet by now. Now, now, no need to panic. General Luger is after them. We have them on the run. The death blow will come. Eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, boy. I don't know how that alliance is even going to work. We're on the dock. <laughs> I feel like some big shot regal. Come, my servants, kiss the royal foot of your grand ruler. Normally, I'd tell you to stop acting so damn foolish. But today, we actually want you to stick out like a sore thumb. So it's a distraction thing. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'll stick out just like the prince. Bow before me, peons. Or it's off with your heads. Yeah, because that's what the prince would say. <laughs> Come on. And again, the prince doesn't say anything, but that's a whole... That's another story for another day. And we're at the dwarf camp, apparently. Also, this officially begins Chapter 12, Liberation. Chapters are just going by like nothing, as of late, it would seem. Perfect. The enemy is convinced that we all fled the raft fleet. This gives us some freedom to maneuver undetected, at least for a while. 
Let's start by doing something about the Dragon Cavalry. Absolutely. We can't win the war without the Dragon Cavalry on our side. We must investigate why the Commander refuses to give the order to ride. Yeah, there's still something going on there. We don't really know the truth. Of what exactly is going on with that? Have a nice trip, guys. So the question is, wh wh where is Leon? I mean, she's still injured, isn't she? Oh, uh, you're not going, Miyakis? I was kind of hoping that... Believe me, I want to go with you guys, but my gut tells me the problem is in Gordius. Oh, that Gordius place hidden. We, 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 we still need to go there. That makes two of us. The Dragon Horse Lair and our training grounds are located in Gordius. I want to go there. I don't even remember that place at all, but I still want to go there. Godwin most likely did something there that has paralyzed the Dragon Cavalry, and something tells me it's bad. Women are forbidden in Gordius, so Miakis can't come along, unfortunately. No women? That's not fair. It's gonna be a sausage fest. N nobody wants that. I'll wait here. Say hi to the Dwaggy Horses, or Dragon Horses, for me. So Miakis is gonna leave our party for now? <laughs> we got Rug, okay. I guess Rug's my new bodyguard. Prince, we gotta hurry. I'm not just gonna stand by and watch those chumps hit Gordius. So I guess we're going to Gord. So we have Rug and Rahal, and that's it. Like, what? Okay. So we can change party members, but certain characters are not available, like Vicky. Since you can't teleport and such. And obviously she's female, so I don't think you can use any female characters in your party. I'm not sure. Gordius is south of Sarnex Castle. Good luck, Prince. Wish I could go with you. Your Highness, please make sure you bring back the Dragon Cavalry this time. I have the utmost confidence you will succeed. So I guess the Dwarf Camp is our base for now. Just temporarily. How you doing? I can't tell you humans apart, and so many of you too. It's more than my dwarf brain can process. I don't think all of our characters can really fit in this place. In all honesty. Like, there's no way. It'd be really cramped. Bum bum bum. So we, we want to look for Lucerant. There's a guy. Hanging out. We don't like trouble, but if someone else starts it, we have no choice but to defend ourselves. It looks like we'll have to join forces with humans to protect ourselves, so that's what we'll do. So we want to look for Lucerina. There's a... Uh, what's his name? We can just go to sleep on the ground. You don't like to sleep like that. Human sure you have it rough. <laughs> do you say anything different? Hmm, what is it? Levy, that's his name. I couldn't think of it for some reason. I, I guess Bergen's not by his side. Do you wish to train? So these are basically here in case you want to do that. I don't think you can ever go into this tent. Let's form a party first before we start worrying about th uh, other things. Things have gotten lively around here all of a sudden. We don't mind. Noise doesn't bother us. Well, you do spend a lot of time digging. You've got plenty of space. You can take as much as you like. Cool. If you joined up all the tunnels I've dug over the years, well, it'd be longer than the Fetus. I don't doubt that. So here's the our storage, I guess. Also, we got that uh, Cape of Destiny. Is that any... I guess Ruger Rahal could have it, but... We'll form our party first before we start worrying about equips and such. Wow, I've never seen so many humans before. I like digging holes, but I wouldn't mind trying something new. Heck, maybe I can even become a blacksmith. There you go. Be ambitious. Where is Lucerina at? We need her services. Welcome. I guess you carried all your armor here. 
Ha ha ha! Welcome, welcome! There's Lucerina. Okay. Yeah, I think you can only use male characters. I'm not sure, though. If so, that's definitely gonna limit a lot of the characters that I use. No, you you can still use Cathari. Okay. I guess you just can't use certain characters. Okay, we can still use Jean. Lead on Prince. Lorelei. And I think we 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 we, we ugh, I can't talk. We will use the Dragon Knights here because it's kind of their, you know, quest, their story arc thing, so. Okay, so normally, who were the other two characters that I was using? Mia Kiss and then someone else. I don't remember who, who else I was actually using. Um. Da, da, who was it? Was it Kyle? Were we using, I don't think we were using Kyle, were we? I don't remember. Erda, that's it, okay, yeah. We, we, we gotta use Erda. We'll use Erda instead of Lorelei, because I do want to use the the, the, the the Dragonites, if nothing else, to, to, just to show them off. Plus, you know, it makes sense. So, I suppose I must. And then, of course, our usual support units, Treasure Hunt. Egbert, I mean, e Egbert's probably the most important support unit, because you need money in this game more than anything, so. Escape route, pff, we don't really need that. I mean, I think escape route just raises your chances of escaping, but if, but if you have Cathari, that does nothing. So, if you have Cathari, you can't fail anyway. So, treatment, because treatment is better than healing. And then we could have trade and I guess cook. I, I think cook also j heals you. I'm not sure if it's more than treatment. I don't recall. Fe feel free to let me know if you're aware, but I'm not really sure. Trade in. Tr tr trade in's always good to have, so you don't have to throw things away. You can just sell them for money. Okay. So. Uh, formation. Yeah, both Rook and Rahal are short range. And they're decently leveled, so that's nice. Uh, no. No, no, no. No, it's not. Gene goes in the back, as always. Cathari and Erda. Gonna switch you. I don't know why. I like having Erda on the right and Cathari on the left. I don't know why. <laughs> I just do. Okay, so equipment... Oh, we can give a cape of destiny. Hmm. So that brings up magic. Dragon horse choker, wind spun ring. We can give the prosperity ring to someone else. Cathari instead of the blazing wall. Stone of skill. Who needs skill the most? You know, because I like giving it to whoever has the, the least. Tech. It's not skill, it's tech. 181. 143. Cathari does not need it at all. 245. I don't think Gene really needs it that much, but... Mm. I do attack with her more, 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 more often than most mages, so it probably wouldn't be a bad thing to give to her. Okay, do we have any other equipment? You can check out. Even though I can't have the Thunder Helm. I think they do have some pretty decent equipment already, so... Okay, first we're going to upgrade their weapons, because, you know, weapon level 1 is just, it's just not going to get it done for me. 
Oh, we, we, we can also upgrade some other characters to you. You're already upgraded. We'll upgrade you. Upgrade Jean. Because, yeah, I I do actually attack... Ooh, Crystal Rod. Nice. Much like in Sukoden 4. I do actually I, I attack with Jean a fair bit, so... In most cases, upgrading a mage's weapon it isn't really that useful, but here it actually kind of is, because I do use it quite often, and th 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 this will be cheap to upgrade their weapons. Katsugazazma. Kuthan Kazma. And Bagarata, dual swords and katana. upgrade their weapon. We don't have much money left, but we should be able to upgrade their weapon a fair bit, at least. We'll just go one by one, so we'll get them both up as high as we can. Since, since the first several upgrades are fairly cheap. You know how it goes. It starts off pretty cheap, and then it just gets insanely expensive. <laughs> but yeah, Rug and Rahal are pretty good characters. I may have mentioned this before, but... Uh, they're pretty similar to Miklatov and Camus from Sukoden 2. In a lot of ways. We can keep Ooh, there we go. That's a nice upgrade. Kuthan Cosma becomes Forbitter. Ooh. Cool name. What about you? Bog Rotten becomes Zapsalis. Okay. Sure, why not? Why not? I think that's all we're gonna be able to do for now. Oh, we 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 can do one more. That's cool. Okay, now we're broke. So let's see what we brought them up to. 277, 282. That's not too bad. Gene still has higher attack than them, that's just sad, but they are also five levels lower, so. Their, their defenses aren't too bad either, so. Alright. So is there anything else we can do here? I can't believe this tunnel leads to the lake ruins. I did not want to leave? Oh, boy. What do you think you're doing to me, man? We'll drop a save and then we need to head to the minecart in order to get back to Sornix Castle. You know how it is. You know, unless, it's the f unless this is the first video of this playthrough that you're watching. Then you probably don't know. Okay. We need to make more money now. Um, do, do they have any SP? Well, well, we haven't used them, so probably not. Um... Attack, defense, agility, magic. I guess we could use some party SP. Yeah, you know, to give them an edge. Oh no, we don't really have much at all, so... Not, not, not enough to really do anything. Deep Twilight Forest. You know, I don't see why they give you a choice if there's not actually a choice. Like, what the freak, man. Alright, like, like, why is Rug the, 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 the on-screen character behind me and not Rahal? Like, what's up with that? Who made that decision? It's a crab! King Mantic. It's a classic Sukoden enemy. Yeah, they actually don't have a co-op. You would think they would, but nope, they don't. They do not. We'll just do a little auto. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Holy crap! Jeez! That was like the OP turn. Iron Fist, Spire Ceiling, and Crab. Was that an area boss? It kind of seems like it. I didn't notice the, the little area boss theme thing, but... I think it was. We got Crab. Can either of you have Iron Fists? Because that would probably be nice. Nobody can! Oh, boy. Err... Er it's where, like, in the Sukoda games, there's always certain equipment that can usually o o only be used by maybe, like, one or two characters. And you get a lot of it. Narik was back. It is kind of weird that Rogue and Rahal don't have a co-op attack. I think we need another character in, in order for them to have one or something. I don't remember. Six. They're still, like, stunned. They can't do anything! She actually has a... a a surprisingly high amount of HP. Zero? Then that gradual damage. There you go, just shot her in the freaking chest. <laughs> she laughs. She laughed at the thought that she just murdered some demon chick. That's pretty much what happened there. Antitoxin. Let's go and use some of this food, like cheesecake, baked cheesecake. Baked cheesecake heals three times as much as regular cheesecake for some reason. I don't know why, it just does. I don't know, is a baked cheesecake tastier than a regular cheesecake? I don't know. Bum bum bum. So of course we want to head back through Port Spinnix. But we're not actually going to Sornix Castle. We're going to Gordius. Ow. What is with all the double crits? Fur clothes. I don't think that's any good for anybody, but we could try it out, and it'll be pretty cool. And we're being hidden by trees? No, not at all. Not even close. Let's get out of this horrible place. couldn't tell, our, our, our party's quite OP. I mean, between Kathari, Erda, and the Prince, I mean, they can take out a lot of fights by themselves. And then if you count Jean's magic... Oh boy. There you go. Like, Rug and Rahal usually don't even get to do anything. <laughs> they just stand there and look pretty. Ooh, flame, lightning, and water amulets. Okay, sure. Why not? I guess we could give those to them, since it's kind of their elements. Flame to Rug. Water to Rahal. Might as well. Doesn't really matter that much, but there it is. All right. You know the drill. We've done this a few times already. Go through Fort Spinnix. But this time we're going to Gordius, which is like southeast of Sarnix Castle, I believe. Oh, crap. I th Even though it let us put them in our party, I... I think we're going to have to go back and take off the females. I'm not sure, but I think. I hope that's not the case. Because that would be really irritating, but I think that may be the way it is.
punk. Freaking sleep. Harry. Oh, nice counter. Oh, there you go. Bonk. We're getting some nice money. Guess if we go, if we're forced to go back, we can upgrade Ragamarhul's weapons a little more. <laughs> Why not? Bonk! Ooh! Ow! I think you hit a vital organ. I think that's what happened there. Here is Gordius. You cannot pass. Women are prohibited from entering Gordius. There are no exceptions, not even for those accompanying His Royal Highness. I'm sorry, but you must leave at once. Ah, uh, we gotta... See, they shouldn't let you put them on your party if, if this was gonna happen, you know? I don't think we can use the Blinking Mirror to head back. So we gotta go back. Oh, God. I'll probably meet you back here.